In the recent months, computer vision has come a long way. Computer vision is a subset of AI that enables computers to interpret, understand and make decisions based on visual data from images and videos. Computer vision involves teaching machines to extract meaningful information from visual inputs, mimicking human vision capabilities and combine concepts from computer science, mathematics and cognitive psychology. Computer vision enables applications such as object recognition, facial recognition, medical image analysis and so on and so forth. This library, which you can see on your screen, Supervision has also taken it to the next level. If you're looking to load your data set of images or videos in order to do object detection, tracking or just simply counting how many detections are there, this is a good choice. It is an open source free tool which you can use locally. In this video, we are going to install it on our system and then we will use one of the images to do the object detection and annotation. Before we install it, let me give a huge thanks to Mast Compute who are sponsoring the VM and GPU for this video. If you are looking to rent a GPU on affordable prices, I will drop the link to their website in video's description. Plus, I am also going to give you a coupon code of 50% discount on a range of GPUs. This is my terminal, Ubuntu 22.04 and this is my GPU card NVIDIA RTX A6000. Let me clear the screen and let's start the installation and then I will describe as we go as what I'm doing. First up, I'm just creating a virtual environment with Coda. Also make sure that you use Python 3.10. Uh, anything above, it doesn't simply work. So you can see that my Python environment is created. Let's install some of the prerequisites. I'm just going to go with below and then TQTM, some other stuff we will be using as we go. Let's wait for it to get installed. This is going to take a couple of minutes. The prerequisites are done. Let's install our supervision. I'm just installing it with Conda. If you are not using Conda, simply do pip install supervision and this should be fine. The supervision is installed. Let's start our Jupyter notebook so that we could play around with the supervision in our browser environment. Let's wait for it to get launched. Okay, so our Jupyter Notebook is launched. Let's first grab the image which we want to play with. So I'm just going to grab this image from my local uh, directory. So I'm just going to image this uh, computer vision 2 package and then I'm reading the image and now it is stored in here. Let me also show you the image which I'm going to use. This is the image which I have downloaded from the repo. You can use any image of your choice. Okay, so let's proceed further. Okay, so next up, what we need to do, we need to grab any of the object detection model. I'm going to go with the YOLO NAS model. As you can see here, this model was um, developed by DASI AI and it is a product of advanced neural architecture search technology. And that is what NAS is. And it has been designed to address the limitation of previous YOLO models. And it has a more improved accuracy latency um, trade-off plus it also really is quite a good lightweight choice when it comes to object detection so but you can use your own there are various other you can even go with facebook's restnet one and if you are using transformers and there are a lot of other choices so it is running at the moment let's wait for it to get downloaded so if you look at this code it is just simply importing the supervision and the model library we are specifying our YOLO model. We are meeting, making predictions on this image which we just saw here, this one. And then from there, we are just getting that how many detections this model has done in this image. Okay, so next up, you can even print it out. So you see there are seven detections it has done in this image. And now since it has made the detections, we can now annotate it. So if you click here, and run it there you go so you see it has annotated that in this image there is a dog and then there is a person there is a backpack in the orange and you can see that it has even detected that uh, car in that far right corner how good is that really good stuff and you can uh, just put in any image of your choice also 
another cool thing about it is that you can have you can change this format of this annotation so you can see that we are just giving it labels with some confidence score that how much confident the model is about the detections so if you run it there you go it has given not only the label dog but also how much confident it has it in its detection so you see that for backpack it's not that confident but still it has got it right but the car it is quite confident and same goes for the person and the dog okay so net let's now uh, try out few of the other images from my local disk so this is the image i'm going to try where there is a sunset some kangaroos and at the top right some uh, flock of birds and a tree let's see so i already have given it the path here let me run it it is also going to tell us how many detection it was able to do so there were 10 detections and when i run it let's check it out so it was able to detect all the birds and the kangaroo which is good but i think it didn't detect the tree or all this stuff maybe the image was not superimposed okay that is fine let's try out another example next up i'm going to check out this lane in the traffic condition so let me run this one to see how many predictions it made it is running so no detection it was unable to detect anything in this image Let's check it out. Yeah, it wasn't able to detect anything, which is strange. Let's try it out on another image. In this one, there is a man sitting on the chair with the dog in his lap. Let's try out this one. This time, it was able to make three detections, which is good. Let's run this. There you go. So it was able to detect all of it with the numbers. Okay, that's better. So all in all, I would say pretty good package with some of the limitations as you already saw. It works with uh, many images but struggles with some of the images, especially the images which are not good in lighting, I would say. Uh, also another cool thing about a, this package is that it also does a video tracking and I will make another video showing how that works. In that one, uh, the trackers are simply a piece of code that identifies objects across frames and assign them a unique tracker id but we will see it in another video i will drop the link to it in video description play around with it all the code which i have used is already in their repo which you can easily check from this notebook or just going through the repo uh, i have just added the conda environment which you can simply run as you saw on my screen so that's it guys and one last bit if you want to run it you don't need 48 gb of vram like i did you can simply run it on 16 gb of vram or somewhere around that if you like the content please consider subscribing to the channel if you're already subscribed please share it among your network as it helps thank you for watching